Rio is an incredible state. Parati is where we're standing right at this moment in the middle of the heritage site of UNESCO. And what I love about this is the fact that it's a colonial town and the people here are so friendly. I always say that the people in any place that I travel are the friendliest and the best. They're so warm, they're very special. When I walk through these cobblestone streets, I feel as if I've gone back in time. The wonderful colors, which are very tropical. It's a colonial city that everyone can appreciate. I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter. Sure, I'm Sebastian, and I'm director of Parity Tours. Uh, we are an incoming travel agency that we have 18 years working and trying to give the best services in Parati. Uh, now we are uh, part of the historical monuments of the UNESCO. We are very, very happy and we are very lucky to have this, uh, this title that will be very good for Parachi, for the preservation and even for the, uh, the develop of the, the, the sustainable uh, tourist uh, the, that we try to keep the historic uh, preserve, the ecology preserve and have gives better quality for the people who live in, in town. Uh, Parachi also is called the Brazilian Venice, you know, because uh, in the time, 18th, 17th century, when the Portuguese, they built the, the historical town, they built it in the, in the same level of the sea, and they used the tide, the tide uh, going up and down in the streets, the, the old way of cleaning the, the, the town, and it's very nice that you can still today, uh, you know, take a canoe in the street when the tide is really high. And that makes very, very special, you know, because maybe uh, suddenly you are in a posada or in a house inside your town and you get out and you find the tide up and you, you will see the sea there in the streets, you know. And that is a very, very, uh, very nice moment in Parachi. It's just for a couple of hours when the tide is going up and down, but it's, it's very, very nice. That's why we are the Brazilian Venice too. Another interesting thing, I think, is about the Cachaça. We were talking about Caipirinha, you know? And we have, until today, uh, seven distilleries making Cachaça, like in the 18th century, you know? Very good quality of Cachaça. Uh, in Brazil, the, the Cachaça from Parachi is considered the best, one of the best qualities. Maybe you find a very good cachaça in Minas Gerais, and with the same quality you have the cachaça from Parati. Until today we have a festival of cachaça in the month of August, where all the six, uh, the seven distilleries, they make a big party in the square, and everyone comes and drinks a little bit cachaça. There are three days in Parati that everyone get drunk, you know. Another time in the year, very interesting in Parachi and very nice, where we have a, a tradition, very special tradition, is Carnival. In Carnival, it's a, a very typical uh, uh, moment in Parachi, where the blocos de rua, it means uh, groups of people in the streets making the Carnival, like in the, the old times and singing and making their sambas and batucadas. And, uh, but we have a very special group, uh, it's called Bloco da Lama. It's the beginning of Carnival in Parachi, where thousands of people, they go to the end of the beach, Shabaquara, that is close to town. It's uh, almost 10 minutes walking from the old town. And they take out the clothes and they put a mud, you know, that Parachi is turned by mangroves. The old, the, this town is all turned by mangroves. And in this beach of Aquara, we have a part of the mangroves that, uh, that makes uh, a mud. A very, ni a very nice mud. It's a natural cream, you know. And they pass, they put this mud in, the, in their body and they go to pull carnival and uh, making this very interesting bloco da lama and it's very very unique you know this is only happens in Parachi. it is the historical town you have the bay that it's a great bay with the beaches and the islands we have the national park of Serra da Bocaina where we have the forest the uh, rainforest preserved waterfalls inside the bay we have uh, 
65 islands and hundreds of, of beaches uh, where you can swim in very cl calm and, and in crystal waters, you can make snorkeling. We have a very interesting restaurants with the great uh, food and typical foods, you know, grilled fish, um, typical muquecas and pechadas that they're really uh, special uh, dishes here. Sixty-five percent of the area of the municipal of Parachi is inside of the National Park of Serra da Bocaina and is one of the better preserved areas of the rainforest in the Brazilian territory. We have so many nice artists, different uh, techniques and uh, they are really part of the culture of Parachi and but very very there are so many and with a very good uh, quality of of art, you know, I think these ateliers are very important to visit during your stay in the old town. And we have these four churches that they are inside the old town, that they are museums. Uh, we have uh, my celebrity in the main church, Igreja Matriz, and even in the Igreja do Rosario. And the other churches, they are museums, and they have my celebrity during the dates of the Virgin. Uh, I'm not Brazilian, I told you that I'm Argentinian and I'm living 21 years ago here and I, 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 I fell in love with Parachi and it's the people that live here, they're very, very friendly. You, you don't feel as a tourist, you always feel part of the, this uh, beautiful place. Uh. I promise you'll fall in love with this colonial town its people and its architecture. The Posada do Sandi is located in the heart of the historic district. Its interior is very tropical. I hope you enjoy this experience. This has been a mind-blowing experience. I'm John Haggins, the Globe Trotter. Remember, get up, get out, and travel!